Hubstaff time tracking tutorial. How to use Hubstaff to track time step by step. Hi there, you guys. Welcome to another video. And in this video, I'll be talking about Hubstaff and how to start using its services. It's pretty easy if you want to start using Hubstaff. Just go to app.hubstaff.com and you land on this dashboard. But yeah, not immediately, by the way. You'll have to. Um, choose what type of work you do. Do you work on computers or are there some instances will you, where you'll need to work on field? It's going to ask you those questions and you'll just have to click which is which or which is applicable to the line of work that you do. And as for me for this video, I have chosen um, that you know, we're going to assume that I have this business who works mainly on computers. So I click that. And what else? It's going to ask some details about your business, the name of your business, how many people are there in your business. And then it's going to ask you to opt for a plan. But you can skip that if you want to try in their free trial version first. It's going to be okay. Um, but you'll still have to choose for a plan that will be, um, that you're going to use for yourself. It's it's going to be either a free plan. That means you're not going to be entering any card details. But if you want to like try their um, pro or the upgraded version of free plan for free, you're going to have to enter your card details. And if you want to cancel any subscription, that's going to automatically um, be charged on your credit card. It's gonna, it's gonna be up to you to cancel that if you don't like um, Hubstaff. But for me, um, Hubs Hubstaff is a really good um, platform because it allows you to monitor employee activities during work hours, and it allows your employees to track time through its desktop app. And employees can choose what they want to record or when they want to record their time. So there's a feature out here that lets your employees allow the recorder to record their time or when they start working. So it's not going to be like a uniform time for everyone because when you're working with freelancers, chances are it's going to be different. Um, yeah, different time worldwide. And chances are there's going to be um, times when you're asleep and your employees are going to be working. So you want to... Um, automate this function so that you'll you don't have you, you'll you you know you'll save time doing it you have more time focusing on what's really important to do but anyway going back on the topic right here um once you've filled up all the necessary details you're going to land on this particular dashboard right here and what is up in here dash uh, in this dashboard there is of course the dashboard tab the timesheet project management report people financials settings and policies now what's important to know here in hub stuff is that it's also available for when you want to pay your employees using this platform it's going to calculate automatically how much an employee is going to get by um yeah but that's a different video right so um for this video we're trying to track time so what's important to know when you're trying to track time is of course your project what project are you working on? So it's important to for you to add a new project right here on this tab, but uh, project management tab. And if you want to add in a new project, you can just click this button right over here. Now, adding a new project is um, um, important for when you want to have more grasp of what's going on. So it doesn't necessarily mean that a single project is for like a single output only. No, it's gonna it's it can be like two to three or uh, literally um, how many projects you want to make on a single output. Now, it can be like stages of the output and uh, the, the actions and steps that are needed to be done. Um, you can literally add them all in here. Just click this button right over here and it's going to um, go all the way down here. The list goes on. For this video, I've already like created, not really, but you know, these are presets. Um, you don't necessarily have to create them yourself because it's going to ask you what type of business you're working on, right? It's going to be either for an engineering, an accounting firm, or like a creative team or something like that. I've chosen creative. That's why it shows me design and marketing right here because it's going to um, go with design flow. And then after the design flow, we're going to be dealing with marketing the design and stuff like that. So what we're going to do now is to try and edit the design right over here. Okay, so what you can do here is 
this is basically actually what you'll see when you add a project itself. Um, what's important is to know this elements. Um, the general is, of course, the name of your project. Now, is it going to be billable or not? Or are you going to record the activity or not? This one is like for projects like calls or meetings. Um, it says here you can disable activity from being recorded so it won't affect the average. You know, um, chances are when you're watching things or when you're in a meeting or like when you're in a call with the manager, um, sometimes those types of um, things that are happening on your computer screen, they can get calculated and mistaken as time of work when in fact it's not. It's not a paid meeting, right? There's an option if you want to um, get a meeting paid or not. So yeah, it can basically automate this by clicking this button or toggling this on. And if you want to exempt calls or meetings, you can disable activity from being recorded so it won't affect the average. This is really pro yeah pro manager here you know it it yeah you can see that this app is for owners for managers right away because um it lets you come on it lets you choose to not record an activity just so you it's not going to be mistakenly added as a paid service well i think meetings are supposed to be paid yeah that's what i think because um, you're pouring in energy as an employee learning all the stuff that they want you to learn. And that's not an easy task, if you ask me. Okay, so the description should be here. You're going to want to type in what's happening and what people should expect on your project. Basically, this is, yeah, where you input all um, the anticipation part of the project. What are people going to do in... You know, just so they can have, just so your employees or your um, colleagues can have like an idea of how much time and effort they're going to put in, you know, describe the project. And you can select a client here. Um, You haven't created any client yet under people. That's a separate um, video or, yeah, separate tasks to do. So this is going to show up here. You know, if you add in people and then select a client to which project is this going to be um working for something like that and then save the edits by clicking that button right there now um to effectively use time tracking here in hub staff you have to create a to do so to create a to do just click the button right here to do buttons under project management and you're going to want to click this add a to do and enter to do so for example we are on the design stage or submit blueprints, something like that. And assignee, select someone who's going to do it. And then I'm just going to select um, a pseudo, uh, someone I, I've added. Okay. Right. So there is a task here to do. Now let's try to um, track time. You can track time immediately by clicking this button right over here, guys. You can see this clock button here that looks like a stopwatch. Yeah, more like a stopwatch than a clock. And we can now select a project. We're working on the design, right? And then to do, submit blueprints. And then what you can do is to start tracking time by clicking this button. There you go. So I added the account, my account here as um, the assignee. So I can see the timer right from here. It's on blue. Now, if I'm not going to be the assign, it's going to be a different one. Okay, to record screenshots, please download and use the desktop app. There's a different application for that, you guys. So if you want to access a lot more features of Hub Staff, definitely go ahead and try it out, you guys. But uh, for me, this is definitely worth trying out because it's it has cooler implementation. You know, the design is also great. I like it. But uh, there are other free uh time tracking apps out there that's uh, worth it to try and you're gonna want to research on them but that's it for this video you guys i hope it has been helpful let me know what you think down in the comments below see you again in the next video peace out